Hello, I'm B. Milzebub, and welcome to my channel. Before we get into the video today, I wanted to quickly mention the first ever image of a black hole, which was released yesterday, April 10th. Take a look at it. How awesome is that? It really is amazing, the things that you can do with science. But let's get into the video now. As we all know, things that are finite have less value. That's why something like gravel is more valuable than something like gold, because it's less finite. So it's the same with life. If our lives are finite, then they have less value. And the only way our lives can have any meaning whatsoever is if they are endless. Just, just think about it, right? If you don't have the ability to do everything in the universe and beyond, if beyond the universe is a real thing, an infinite number of times and ways, are you really living? Is it really worth it if that's not the case? Seriously, say the average human lifespan is something like 80 years. It, that, that's probably not what the average lifespan is, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. Let's just say for the sake of argument that the average human lifespan is 80 years. That's obviously nothing compared to a never-ending eternity. So clearly, this shorter lifespan that we have has less value than an immortal life because you can only do so much in that short amount of time. Because with a god, an eternal life obviously follows for some reason. Ipso facto, life has less meaning without God. And so ends the video. See you later, everyone. Okay, for real though, obviously I was just joking because it's the finite things that have greater value. Gold is worth more than gravel, obviously, and so a shorter lifespan is more valuable than an endless one. With a limited lifespan, every day has the chance to be incredibly important to you. There's more of a sense of urgency because your time alive is limited. And before anyone says anything, no, I don't think we should intentionally limit our lives to like 10 years or something absurdly short like that. We should try to live as long as we can. I'm definitely not advocating to cut your own life short. I, you really should try to live as long as you can, so nobody try to put those words in my mouth. But sure, I mean, you could waste a few days, maybe a week, and not be productive. But that'd get boring pretty fast, and eventually you'd start to feel a desire to do something with your time. Whereas with immortality, you could potentially waste centuries, millennia, millions, billions, trillions of years, and think nothing of it because time is an infinite resource. So why is it that so many religious people flip this around and desire an eternal life that they don't actually even know is real instead of this finite one, calling the eternal life the one that has meaning. Maybe it's the fear of death and becoming nothing like before you were born, but I don't think that's it. We're talking about meaning here, and these people we're talking about believe an eternal life after you die is more valuable than the life we know for a fact that we actually get. So I don't think it's a fear of dying because you have to die to get the life you're looking forward to getting, if that makes any sense at all. And I think that's an entirely different conversation. I honestly don't know the answer. Even as a Catholic, I didn't give the meaning of eternal life much thought because I was still really young, and these existential questions didn't mean much to me. Yet. Maybe it's because they believe they'll be directly in the presence of their God. But even that doesn't make sense, because their God is supposed to be omnipresent, right? So they're always directly in the presence of their God. It's weird, and I kind of have trouble wrapping my head around it. 
Do any of you have any ideas as to why some religious people think like this? Let me know in the comments. It's the curiosity of mine. It won't keep me up at night, but still. Now, I know at the end you all usually get to see my beautiful face, but I really wanted to show the image of the black hole again because I just think it's so cool to look at. But that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, linked below to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.